Hey what's up everyone, how we doing? In this video, I'm going to share with you every possible way that is known at the moment for obtaining the ray gun in D-Machine Zombies. And I'm also going to offer you some tips for increasing your chances of getting it for yourself in game. But before we jump into it, if you find some value in this video, then please make sure to leave a like on it. And if you're not already, then consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with my other Call of Duty and Zombies related videos. Now let's get amongst it. Now as of making this video, there is not a way to surefire guarantee yourself a ray gun like there is for the DIE Wonder Weapon. So it's going to take a bit of luck in order to get one through RNG. The first and most commonly known way to get the ray gun is to try and get it through the mystery box. As mentioned by Treyarch in a blog post, and also tweeted out by the official PlayStation Twitter account, getting into the higher rounds in Zombies is meant to increase your chances significantly of getting ultra tier weapons from the box. And I think a majority of players believe this to be the case in general, with the different methods that I'll show you later in this video. If all else fails with getting the ray gun from the mystery box, then it's a well-known wives tale that if you spin the box, punch each side of it with your fists, do a 360 and then go prone, this will guarantee that you get a ray gun from the mystery box. I'll uh, leave it up to you whether you buy into that or not. The next possible way to get the ray gun is to complete a small side easter egg that will reward you with some different loot that could include the ray gun. To complete this, you need to have the power turned on and the Pack-A-Punch forged. After this, within the Particle Accelerator area of the facility, you can shoot these five different wisps. The first is located behind this chair, in between these two computers, next to the power room. If you turn directly around and then walk down the stairs, you'll find that there is another one behind this grate. You might need to go prone in order to shoot this one. The next is located just inside of this window on the lowest level of the accelerator room. The fourth is located behind one of these blue generators on the lower level as well. You can either shoot this one from the stairs leading up to the higher platform, or you can just jump up onto the box in front of it and then shoot it out. And then the final one is located up near the roof on the opposite side of the room to the power room. Once you've shot all five, you'll be teleported to the zombies disco in the dark ether, and once the zombies carrying this crate get to the middle of the platform, you'll be teleported back, and then you can open up this to claim your rewards, which could potentially include the ray gun. You'll notice that on top of this crate, there is a screen that shows an emoji. Make sure to open it up when the smiley face with the green background is showing, and also be careful when you're opening this up, because as soon as you teleport back, the zombies will quickly rush you. The third way to possibly get the ray gun is to smash the crystals that can be found within the dark ether. These spawn in a set location every time that you teleport to the dark ether, and all you need to do is knife them or shoot them, and they'll drop some loot for you. This could either be basic ammo, essence, or salvage, but it can also include high tier rewards like self revives, perks, and even the ray gun. You can first get to the dark ether while forging the pack a punch, and if you're wanting to get back to it again after you've come back, just search the map for another anomaly which is marked on your mini map with a square that has a star inside of it. Each time that you teleport back to the dark ether, the crystals will reset, so it could pay to try and do this as often as you can. The fourth and final way to potentially get the ray gun is to complete some trials. Trials are basically in-game challenges that give you rewards depending on how well you do completing them. You can start a trial by heading to the entrance room of the facility and interacting with this computer. Once you complete one of the challenges it gives you, you'll be able to head to one of these stations and collect your rewards. If you're able to complete the challenge to the highest tier, you'll have a chance to earn rewards, which includes intel for the map and ultra weapons like the DIE Wonder Weapon or the Ray Gun. I personally think if you're specifically trying to get the Ray Gun, it will be the best to use a combination of all of these different methods to try and get it. So first up, maybe try smashing the crystals on your way to forging the Pack-A-Punch the first time that you go to the Dark Aether. 
and then once you've forged the pack a punch and come back then maybe try shooting out those wisps and do that side uh, easter egg to try your luck with that if you don't get it from there then maybe try some trials and then every milestone round or so head back into the dark ether to smash those crystals again to see if you'll finally get lucky once you start getting into the higher rounds or you have some points that you want to burn then either try get a crawler or if you're playing with one of your buddies then get them to hold one of the final zombies so that you can hit the box to try and get it remember that your chances of getting the ray gun significantly increase in the higher rounds hopefully this helps you out and i might have even shown you a potential way to get the ray gun that you didn't even know existed if you found some value please make sure to leave a like on the video and if you're not already then consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with my other call of duty and zombies related videos all right i'll catch you next time good luck with trying to get that ray gun